As we approach Valentine's Day, I'd like to share with you all what a proposal looks like in Sanskrit. This is the story of Shiva and Parvati and how they came to be together. Parvati is a beautiful princess whose mind is fixed on Shiva, but she soon realizes that Shiva doesn't care for riches or mere physical beauty. So she leaves behind her kingdom, goes to the forest, and undertakes a severe penance. After some time, Shiva visits her in the disguise of an ascetic. Bharati doesn't realize it's actually Shiva, so she just welcomes him with the customary formalities. And then Shiva, just to test her, he proceeds to say, why would you want to marry Shiva? You're a princess. He's a beggar. You ride, around, you ride on elephants, and if you marry him, you're going to have to sit on his old ox. He wears an elephant loincloth and dances around in cemeteries. You're a princess. He's way out of your league. And as soon as he says that, Parvati's lips tremble in anger. Her eyes turn red. And with barely restrained anger, she says, I don't think you understand Shiva. And she proceeds to refute all of his criticisms. And at the end, she says, I don't want to hear this anymore. I'm just going to leave. And as she gets up to leave, Shiva loses his disguise and with a smile holds her hand and then he makes his declaration. Adya prabhrutya vana tangita vasmida saha kritastapo bhiriti vadini chandra maulo ahnaya sa niyamajam klama mutsa sarja klesha phale nahi punar navatam vidhatte Adya prabhruti, henceforth, avana tangita vasmida saha My lady, I am your servant. For you have won me by your tapas, your penance. And as soon as he says this, Parati's fatigue vanishes and she feels rejuvenated. This is the story of how Parati and Shiva came to be together. I hope you all enjoyed it. And seeing as it is Valentine's Day, maybe you were able to draw some inspiration from it as well. Stay tuned for more curated tidbits of Sanskrit poetry.